called John, and, and I just knew because of his humbleness. I mean, I knew of his background, and I was just, up until that point, I had never really spoken to anybody that had the background of John that had the ego or lack of ego of John. I mean, it was just, it really was, was great. So I knew right there that I wanted to train with you guys. You know, John, I'm pretty proud of my humility. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 well, stuff like that. So, you guys should talk to me. Um, so John. going back to the street stuff, you know, it, 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 there's, there's all these reality schools that pop up, and, and then there's, you know, in, in my take on the reality schools, for the most part, is that they're reality schools because they won't train like we do. Mm -hmm. They won't put in the time. They won't put in, you know, the Shin Ikai philosophy. They just want, and it's all based on theory and conjecture, and, and, and it's okay, I guess, but if you do what we do, and then transfer those attributes to the street, then you really have something, right? Because on the street, you guys know, I mean, we have police officers, I work with police officers, and, um, you know, it, it, it is a lot different. It's fast, and, and people, the best fighters on the street never had any combat experience, never had any martial arts. They just, they'll do, their intent is so high to get the job done, and so that part's different because when we're competing, you know, we're all nervous before we compete or whatever, but we've got time. It's almost like a chess match out there. We, we kind of know what the guy's going to do. We have some, something to counter. We've got setups. And his intent and my intent are kind of the same. We both want to win. And then there's certainly the will and all that. But on the street, I've got to get home. And, and some of this comes with age, guys. We laugh about age and everything. But it's, but it's true because when I had kids, my intent changed. Mm -hmm. And, and I use this example a lot, and this actually has happened. There was a guy that walked out of a local mall, and there was a couple kids sitting on his car. Now, what would 90% of the guys do when they saw that? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on my car, right? Mm -hmm. They would do that. I mean, that's, that's normal, natural, especially when we're young. Well, if you think about that for a second, the kids, if they're sitting on a car that's not even theirs, they obviously don't care, right? They're, they're, they're not good kids. There's something going on there. So they weren't just going to say, excuse me, Mr. Sorry, I didn't know it was your car. They were, what, what the fuck back? Mm -hmm. One kid pulled out a knife and went after the guy and got him. All right, and the guy survived and everything. But I remember talking to him and saying, now, if you could reverse that, would you have done that again? He said, absolutely not. The guy's got kids at home, right? So our ego tells us, go get them off the car. But if, if you do that, there's going to be some altercation. And you may, they may scurry and that might be fine, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. Right? And so it's worth it. To call. Now guys got to say, oh geez, I got to go back in the mall, I got to call security, nobody wants to do that. But I'm just telling you, what if, it, what if you weren't able to go home to your kids that night? Right? Then, it's, then you, you would change that no matter what. So I just use that story a lot because it gets guys, fathers, to think about that. You know, that there's more than just, just confronting somebody. I got to get home at night. Yeah. So yeah. let's go off of, um, you know, two probably main attacks of somebody reaching out and grabbing you, right? Or somebody just throwing a haymaker at you. And most of the time, you guys know I'm not going to see this coming. Because if I, something happens and I'm like this, then I, I should be backing out of there. Saying, no, go get out of here or whatever. But, you know, it doesn't always happen. And, and we need to be able to prepare so that we have the confidence to do that. So we're going to take, off, take these off of just a couple um, haymakers. And what I have my guys do all the time, you know, like um, Derek was saying, how they always do that Juju Katami in class to warm up. One of the things that we always do when we're doing combatives is this drill. When my partner throws a hard punch, and I've got to hit it. Mm -hmm. And I've got to do that, both for my ability and, and him to take it a little bit. And I don't have to nail it down, I don't have to break it down, but I got to go greater than 90, right? Just basic, basic physiology, and I got to throw it up there. Mm -hmm. Because this kind of slow, this kind of stuff is not going to work. Mm -hmm. And it really wasn't intended, you know, and I thought karate was all about that's what that, that what really wasn't what that was supposed to be. But it's been <clears throat> bastardizing to be in that. But anyways, let's just throw the punch, and I just want you guys coming up here, and then from here, we'll drag through. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep the drag going. Yeah. Just for now. And this could be, you know, a guy reaching out, right? And this is just reaching out the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my, all of my coaches always stress the wrestling hand control. And so I always remember that. Because if I got control of his hands, then I'm, I'm in a better position than I was his hands around me. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so one more time, you just, just take the punch here. Okay, you can even hit a little bit and drag through. Mm -hmm. just Show that hit again. Turn around so everybody can see the incidental little uh, knife hand you did yeah, well, so, so prior to the just drag. A, I'm just going to block, and then from here, it's just a short yeah. forearm. In. Yeah, All right? it's right there. Yeah, and you're yeah. just popping your wrist, your, your, your hips yeah. in, and then we're dragging through. Yeah. Okay? And we, we work a ton of stuff off of this. Maybe we, we, well, we'll see what we have for mass space. But from here, doing your judo, doing some engage. Yeah. All right? And coming up in the choke. Yeah. So let's just do the basic drill first. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thank you.